In today's video, we're going to share with you a few tips for assessing the severity of aortic regurgitation. From the right parasternal forechamber view, look for signs of left ventricular dilatation. Then rotating your hand to open up the left ventricular outflow tract and visualise the aortic cusps. Check for any signs of prolapse or endocarditis. It's a good idea to zoom in over the valve so you can really look closely. Putting colour Doppler over the valve. Look at how much of the left ventricular outflow tract is occupied by the regurgitant jet. Looking at how far the jet goes into the left ventricle is not a particularly good way to assess severity. We can actually measure the width and compare it to the left ventricular outflow tract diameter to get a measurement of aortic regurgitation severity. In this dog we actually have two jets. One is the aortic regurgitant jet and one is a shunt which is through a ventricular septal defect. Turning now to the short axis view. At the base of the heart if you're able to visualise the aortic cusps, you want to confirm that there are three present. Again, zoom in over the valve and you can turn on your colour Doppler here as well. From the apical forechamber view, look again for signs of dilatation of the left ventricle and also assess left ventricular systolic function. An ejection fraction of less than 50% is a poor prognostic sign in patients with aortic regurgitation. Lifting the tail of the probe up, you can open up the left ventricular outflow tract and get your five chamber view. You can put your colour Doppler over here. Getting as good alignment as possible. Place your continuous wave Doppler beam straight down. Bring your baseline down and optimise your scale. Once you've obtained the Doppler through your regurgitant jet, you can measure a pressure half time to assess the severity. So, if there is a small orifice area of the aortic regurgitation, the pressures between the aorta and left ventricle will equalise gradually. So you will get a more gradual deceleration slope on your trace. So you can measure from this point to this point and you will get a pressure half time. The larger the pressure half time, the less severe the regurgitant jet. If you have a severe regurgitation, you'll have a large orifice area of regurgitation so then the pressures between the aorta and the left ventricle will equalise quickly and you will get this steeper slope. So when you measure between the two points, you will get a reduced pressure half time. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like more information on the courses that we run, there's a link in the description below. And if you'd like information on joining our friendly, supportive Facebook community, then please send me an email.